Howdy, Joel. Selena here. I just wanted to go ahead and do this on video. I figured I'd explain this better for you. Now, I'm going to talk fast just so I can go ahead and get this under the time constraint sake because I'm going to go ahead and email it to you. So, I understand you wanted a, 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 a quarter inch or a three eighths of an inch. So, I have these two. So, this is just going to be for example sake since you didn't know what the German silver difference was between the aluminum. And that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the difference. Since I had these all nice and pretty and shined up, I just wanted to go ahead and have these. Now these are 3 16 of an inch. So again, this is a one quarter of an inch, 3 8 and these are 3 16 of an inch. These are just for uh, example sake here. So this is the German silver right here. And these are a little bit heavier in weight than the aluminum. Now aluminum, as you know, you know, you make air streams out of them like the RVs. They are very durable. These are hypoallergenic. Uh, hypoallergenic food grade aluminum that's what I have these are less reactive than even the sterling silver and this is how they compare to the sterling silver this is my sterling silver right here with the B on there and this is my new gold brass so if you want to compare them next to my gold brass it looks real similar to 14 or like 10 14 karat gold uh, this is the aluminum and this is the uh, German silver compared to the sterling silver so all three of them together, this is what that would look like. And then I have my jeweler scale out so you can see how they weigh out. So the way that weighs out would be 832 for the German silver, just so you can get an idea. Now, this is not a fair comparison because I don't have this right now currently on my desk for the aluminum, but you can see that's a lot lighter even the one quarter inch, it's 5.24. And then I'll pull off the sterling silver and that's the 977. So in weight, the 316, the German silver and the sterling silver are pretty comparable in weight. So they are heavier in weight, but um, if you're worried about anything about like um, reactive, less reactivity with skin, then um, aluminum would be your best bet. So I hope this explains it. And here are some copper pieces. And here's the weight on those. Eight. 0.30 so these are 99% pure copper and they're really pretty when they're nice shined up they look like a nice new penny hope that makes sense if you have any questions please let me know sorry for rushing through it just wanted to make sure that got all nice and explained for you and happy thanksgiving talk to you later